Hello there. Yes. I'm so happy once again coming your way with making physics easier with Sir Edia. Okay. Today I'm I'm still going to continue with some couple of questions sent to me by some concerned students on um, electrostatic capacitors specifically. Yes, so I'm going to take you through um, two major questions sent to me on capacitors and then we continue from that. Okay, alright, so stick and stay whilst I take you through this beautiful concept of capacitors. So let me adjust my screen a little bit to get a question. The first question is captured on the board. The first question is captured on the board and that's the drawing you see. We have this system of capacitors connected. Okay, two capacitors of this capacitor. These are connected in a series. These two are also connected in parallel, uh, in a series. But both are connected in parallel to each, uh, to each other, with across um, a, a source voltage of 90. So, so for the system of capacitors above, find A, the equivalent capacitor, capacitance of the system. B, the potential difference across a capacitor and C, the total energy stored by the group of capacitors connected. So these are the questions. Okay, so the first and foremost part of this question is demands that we calculate the equivalent capacitance of the system. Total capacitance. Alright, so once these two, once these two clouded, they, um, um, I mean those ones clouded by me. So we have the upper end in series. We have the lower end also in series. So let's find the uh, the combined. Um, capacitance of the upper end and then the lower end and let's label the total capacitance of the upper one C upper or C1 I think C1 will do because upper can possibly confuse um, things here. Okay, so let's label the capacitance of the upper end C C1. So C1 because they are connected in series. In series, when capacitors are connected in series, here two, their total capacitance will be equal to. Um, C1 times C2 over C1 plus C2. Then let me make it C subscript U upper. Please do not forget that this formula I'm using applies only to when you have two capacitors. This formula applies to the situation where you have only two capacitors connected in series. When you have three or more, you can't use this. Please take note. Alright. So, Cu therefore would be equal to, let's input the values, 3 microfarad by 6 microfarad divided by 3 plus 6 
my two forward. So C U will be equal to eighteen by ten to the power twelve farad since micro is ten to the power negative six divided by nine times ten to the power um, minus six farad therefore we have 2 times 10 to the power negative 6 farad which is also 2 micro farad for the total capacitance at the upper end ok let us indicate the capacitance of these two capacitors below to be C lower C lower this is upper so yes we we'll apply the same equation so 2 by 2 microfarad by 4 microfarad divided by 2 plus 4 microfarad we have 8 by minus 12 farad divided by 6 times 10 farad so this is the mm, 2 would go into um, 8 4 2 will go into 6, 3. So 4 on 3 times 10 to the power minus 6, 5. Okay. You see blue. And so our uh, upper and uh, lower end <coughs> C lower is equal to four on three micro All right. Good. So let's redraw the circuit. It means that we have two capacitors in parallel. Two capacitors connected in parallel. We have CU of magnitude two microfarad and CL of magnitude 4 or I can give you one whole number 1 on 3 micro fire. Okay, so then connected to
90 volts of light. All that I'm doing here is that I don't want to rush to have this in this one. That's why. Okay. So this will be the new arrangement. Therefore, total and these two are in power. Therefore, C total will be equal to when capacitors are connected in power, their total capacitance is the combination of each individual capacitance. So we have um, Cu plus Cl, which will give us 2 microfarad plus one whole number, one on three microfarad, which is equal to <coughs> three whole <coughs> number, one on three microfarad. Okay, and here you can after expressing it in this manner you can decide to leave your answer in this one all right and leave your answer in this one so So the choice really is yours as in how you want to present your answer. If you leave it in mass fraction, fine. If you leave it in mass bar, then the answer becomes 3.333 3, 3 micro. So therefore, total capacitance therefore total capacitance of the system or of the system is equal to either three hole number one one on three microfarad or or three point three three yeah. So that's it for the first part of the problem. Uh, of the question that's the solution all right if you want to review it please quickly do so so that we look at the second part of the questions because I'm going to put it okay so let's look at the B question The B question under the same problem. The B question says that the calculate the potential difference across each capacitor. So we are looking at the potential difference or the voltage drop across each capacitor. All right. Okay. So what I want us to do first and foremost is to look at for the current okay flowing through the circuit. And since we have the combined capacitance of each 
we can apply. So let's determine Q. Q, the charge. I'm <laughs> sorry for using current because, because of resistance. So Q, the charge, okay, which will be put on each capacitor, Q. Since capacitance is equal to Q on V, it implies that Q is equal to C V. Okay. C is our total capacitance within the system, which is this. Three hole number one third on the supply voltage V. Okay. So this times and we already have this value which is that so times 90 gives us 300 so we have 300 microfarad as a charge kilo flowing um, on each plate of the capacitor okay then if that is it then the charge let's indicate the charge coming on this combined capacitance as q1 q2 since at this junction okay q breaks into parts by um, Petrov's junction rule okay and we have the combined capacitance along each side therefore Q1 Q1 becomes um, let's make you the subject from this relation Q becomes a uh, C C one V All right, so Q one becomes C upper C upper times V. And what is C upper? C upper is this value. The combined capacitance at the upper end would give us two microfarad. So two microfarad times ninety, which is equal to one eighty micro coulomb as Q one or Q U. Let's make it Q upper. If Q upper is one eighty, then Q lower. Is 300 minus 180 and the reason is that I said from um, from Ketchup's junction rule Q breaks up into Q1 and then Q2 so we have Q equal to Q upper plus lower so if we have total Q which is this and then we have one of them then we can automatically calculate for the other one without working okay so that's how come we have Q lower given as this one and this is 120 micro coulomb However, if you still want to calculate for Q lua, then without going by Kirchhoff's rule, then Q lua becomes C lua and V. Then what is Q lua? Q lua is a one whole number, one on three, which is four on three times ninety. And since this 3, we have 1, 2, 0, 
micro coulomb, which is given as the same results as when we just subtracted. Okay. So that will be the charge flowing on each end. If this is the charge and you want to determine the voltage drop, oh, then we are, we are there. So the potential difference across the capacitors. So, if you are looking for the potential difference across across, um, let me make some adjustment to answer. across the three ohm. So B three microfarad. Then V voltage drop or potential difference from here is equal to the charge on the capacitor. So here, what is the charge over here? We got um, that is Q upper. So we have 180 Coulomb divided by what's the capacitance there? 3 microfarad. So 3 times 10 to the power minus 6 farad giving us this, this 6. So we have 60 volts. So we have 60 volts across the um, 3 ohm microfarad capacitor. And let's look at V across the 6 ohm six, uh, did I say ohm microfarad resistance is disturbing me here. Okay, that is equally Q lower on C. And what is Q lower? A charge at the lower end, 120, 1, 2, 0, and 10 to the power minus 6. Coulomb on on six times ten to the power minus six farad, and this is giving us twenty Why is this be 20? Let's check from here. Because they should all add up to give us 90. So 3 into this. Um, this is 6. Six sixty, and this is twenty. Twenty volts. Okay, so we have two zero. When you add everything, you have twenty. Alright, so so we have we have um, twenty volts across it. Let's determine B 
rotate across the two volt um, two farad microfarad capacitor okay and Q lower Q lower is 120 so 120 divided by the capacitance here which is two This also giving us this is 60 60 volts 60 volts then V3 U hundred and twenty microcoulomb on on four this is three so thirty volts mm, so that's it but um, you see these two combine to give you the voltage of the source 90. Equally, these two must also combine to give you 90. But let's prove to find out why this is what it is 60 and then um 20. Something is not going on well so let's probe so this is um three by six on nine okay so three by six on nine is two so eighteen on nine two this is two by four on six 8 on 6 8 on 6 giving us 4 on 3 4 on 3 1 whole number 1 on 3 so the total capacitance 3 whole number 1 on 3 ok alright I've, I've been able to detect where <laughs> issue came from you see here you know, this is the voltage across the six what happened is that this is QU upper and this must also be QU mistakenly we use Q lower so this must be QU if QU then this will not be 120 but 180 meaning when you are doing this things you have to open your eyes so well okay and so this will also be trying to give us 30 volts okay so in effect the combined voltage across this and this and then across this and this okay must be equal because they are connected in parallel and they all need to be equal to the source voltage or emf okay so that's why th this side plus this side is giving us 90 and then this side plus this side is also giving us 90 all right so that is that is it with the voltage drop across each capacitor. Now um, let's look at um, the third question, which is the total energy stored by the group. The total energy stored by the group.
So total energy. Start. By the group. This total energy stored in a capacitor E is given by half CV squared. And because C is also equal to Q on V, we can also have this formula as half Q on V times V squared, giving us half Q V. So either this or that gives us the energy stored. So if half CV squared, what's the capacitance? The capacitor, total capacitance was 3 hole number 1 on 3. Okay. Which is 3 hole number 1 on 3 is 10 on 3. Okay. Times 90 squared. 90 square. So quickly put this together. Ninety squared times ten all divided by six. We have um thirteen thousand five hundred. We have 13,500 Joule as E. Or if you want to use the other equation, if you want to use the other equation to, let's see how to go about that one too. Then we have E is equal to half QV. So half, what's the total charge? The total charge was 300 microcoulomb. So times the total voltage which is 90 okay so if this is 150 150 times 90 times 10 to the power minus 6 let's see Thousand thirteen thousand mm. Let's correct something. Half C V squared capacitance. Capac the capacitance is in ten okay, three whole number. One on third micro um, farad, so the ten to the power minus six has to come. Okay, yes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 
so 0 0.0135 Hmm. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So zero point zero one three five joule. And so this will also be this um one fifty times ninety gives us uh thirteen thousand five hundred. So thirteen thousand five hundred by ten to the power minus six. So one two three four five six zero point zero one three five two as the energy stop so both situations are giving us the same so let me reorganize this part This is really how this part must be. You did and that you have if you fail to bring the microfarad. Alright, so that's it. So we realize that each of the two formulae would give you the same value of energy stored. Okay. So that's it. Thank you so much. And we'll be looking at the second question. We'll be looking at the second question.